Hello there, welcome to my channel. Now this one is going to be an unboxing of my new Tissot watch, which I bought myself, cost me 280 pounds. Let me just give you a little bit of background on why I've bought it. Well, basically I've sort of grown to enjoy watches over the last few months. A few months ago, I bought a Samsung watch, the thing that connects to your phone, and I had to change from iPhone over to Samsung so that the watch would really do everything it's supposed to do. And I thoroughly enjoy that, and I really enjoy putting it on every morning, and I like the fact that I can look at my watch for the time rather than have to fiddle around in my pocket to pull my phone out. And I've always sort of, you know, when you go shopping with the wife, you walk around and you go in the jewellery shops and you always look in the window and you think, oh, they look lovely, don't they? So I was shopping yesterday in Bath and I finally sort of bit the bullet, excuse the phrase, um, and went ahead and bought one. Let's be honest, I ain't no David Beckham or Lewis Hamilton and I'm not the smartest thing on two legs and I'm certainly not a model. But I do appreciate from time to time nice things in life, which is why I've gone and got myself this watch. But I'm aware that when I put it on, it's not going to make me look any more attractive. It's not going to make me bigger or more desirable in any way, shape or form. No, 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 no. It's something that I am going to enjoy. I saw this originally in Prague Airport a couple of weeks ago. I was just browsing, waiting for my flight to go. And I saw this and I went and had a look at it and I thought, oh, I like that. And it's not stupidly expensive, but I like that. And I actually wish I'd bought it. So when I went shopping with the wife in Bath yesterday, um, I saw it again and I just had to. Anyway, so I bought mine from a place called Ernest Jones or Ernst Jones, whatever you want to call it, on one of the high streets in Bath. I was served by a lady called cursed and she was fantastic she was really helpful i went back a couple of times actually because i couldn't quite pull the card out and pocket first time round. so that's it that's the history of the watch and that's where i got it from paid 280 pounds and i really don't know a lot about it so i'm going to be honest with you i've printed off a cheat sheet from the website i looked at it i liked it i bought it but there we go so let's go ahead and unbox it very simple these camera phone thing is a brilliant look, you see, because what I can do is I can take some close-up shots for you. Let's go ahead and open the box. <laughs> and I came home with this yesterday. I have not opened it. I promised myself that I'm going to do a little video on it first so I can have it once I've done the video. So here we go. So we're going to slide it open and they fitted it for me in the store yesterday they took a couple of links out so i do know that um and like i said i've just had the box inside so there we go nice box oh ah look at that it's got like some stuff on the back we'll have a look at that in a minute and it's a good sturdy box when i've bought my sort of you know 15 20 pound casios before uh, you don't get a box like that you get a little plastic case so let's just go ahead and uh open that up Oh, I can see it. Look, here we go. Can you see? You can see it first. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, I do like that. That's good. So what can I tell you about this? Well, it's a stainless steel strap. I did try it on in the shop. It's a round face. It's a largest round face because I'm quite a big guy. And it's got a scratch resistant sapphire crystal in there. See, I'm reading off the cheat sheet here because I really don't know a lot. But let's go ahead and just take that out, shall we? And does that come out? There we go. Oh, hang on. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay. That really is chunky. That feels chunky. <laughs> I like that. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So let me give you some facts and figures on this. Actually, does that, I'm going to cheat and use this cushion look. The watch face is 45 mils in length and 45 mils wide, and it's a thickness of 11 mils, and it weighs 175 grams. And there are 22 lugs in the chain. It's a Swiss quartz movement, and it comes with a Renata 394 battery. And it is just gorgeous so i'm gonna put it on now there we go that's it we'll pop that one off Get that. 
Let's see. And then I'm going to go ahead and... So basically what you've got is you've got a clasp. Look, on the back. Very nice looking clasp. There are some tiny, tiny marks on it, I have to say. Look at that. Yeah, there are. Hmm. And the rest of the strap looks okay. But that would be my bad. I probably should have checked that before I left the store. I can't really go back in now and say, look, there's a little mark on it, I don't think. Um, but the rest of it is all in good condition. I have to say, if I'd spent like, you know, five or six hundred pounds and there were marks on the back of it, I would be a little bit disappointed. But that looks, you know, that looks okay. I'll accept that. So I'm just going to go ahead and undo the clasp at the back. The clasp just folds out, look, little folding clasp. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on with a big smiley face. Look at that. Very nice. Now, there is a little bit of movement on there from when they did it in the shop for me. And I think probably what I can do is there are some pins, some adjustment there on the clasp look. Maybe I could just do that myself uh, with the pin just to move it over because there is a little bit of movement on the watch. I don't like a watch too tight. I don't like it too loose. Um, but either I've shrunk overnight, it's possible. I've de-bloated, that's a good thing. Uh, but if I've shrunk a little bit overnight, that is a little bit looser than it was yesterday. But like I say, I'm gonna make an adjustment there. Now let's investigate what these buttons do, because I don't know. I've got to get a bit of a different camera mount out, because the thing is, I want to show you something while I'm holding my close-up camera. Here we go. Right, look at that, look at that. Now, I'm a clever boy, aren't I? Look, you see, because now you can see that. You can see what I can see. On the front, you've got like what is traditionally the minute hand, which sort of stays static. The seconds hand is on this dial down here, look. And then obviously you've got the date there. But the top button here, look, starts the timer. So these are obviously sort of milliseconds, look, going round. And then when it gets to five, there we go round it goes see so you can do a timer and then that would be sort of 15 seconds and then you can stop it like that and then you have to reset it so you can you have there is a timer function on there there you go and it resets back and that works very well that's very smart i don't know what this dial is here i'll have a look in the instruction manual which i'm hoping is in the side let's just have a look here because i did see her in the shop she put the there you go there's a guarantee card there and then there's a quick start guide which i can show you here which is <laughs> upside down in one way that is right yeah no it's upside down in one way uk quick start so it's yeah, it's weird Okay, well, that isn't going to tell me a lot, is it? But other than, there you go. And I know she put the spare links in there. Look, there we go. So I'm guessing it has to be in here. There we are. Right, look at that. There's a book called The Story of the Company. Right, okay, well... They are very proud of their heritage, without doubt, because it's sort of all over the box, look. There we go. But I want to know what that other dial does. And, because I'm not a watch aficionado. And I still don't know. That's just like a really pretty catalogue of like, if you want to buy your next watch. So I wonder if that's like a minute timer. So what I'm going to do is just let that run. There it is. It moved. Did you see it? I saw it move. We all saw it move. So there we go. So if I then stop that... 
like that. And then if I press the reset, I guess that's going to go all the way around. It did. Okay, so we figured out what it is now and how it works. That shows you how much I know about my new purchase, doesn't it? Uh, but that's it. That's my new watch. And my phone is, there you go. The watch is still pinging. It's going, please put me back on. It says, please put me back on. It's beeping away at me. Mm, might do, we'll see. But I'm gonna wear this for a few days now because I'm enjoying this, but there we go. Right, I'll put some links in the description box below uh, for like, you know, where you can go and have a look at the TSO thing online. Um, have a look, see what you think. If you've liked the video and enjoyed it, please press the subscribe button because that's kind of like, that's it. That's, you know, what else do I do with a watch? Let's be honest. I unbox it, I take it out, I show it to you. It looks very nice, it feels very nice. And that's my new watch. But if you've liked it, please give it a thumbs up and please press the subscribe button somewhere over there or down there. There we are then. Thanks very much. Cheerio.